Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today I'm going back and answering a couple more questions that came up in my Discord and through my comments for you guys. And the first one I want to start off with is to say I'm sorry because I will unlock the Mithridism perk for you guys and made the video on how to unlock the Mithridism perk for you guys, right? That's the way that I did it is the way that I thought you unlocked it, but little did I know I was doing it incorrectly. So what did I do in order to unlock the Mithridism perk? Well, I went through and got poisoned a bunch by a wolf spider and then kicked the crap out of the wolf spider, killed the wolf spider, and then moved on. In my mind, because of reading the description and how I unlocked it, I thought that it was just coming from me getting poisoned over and over and over again, not from purely killing wolf spiders, which is where it comes from, according to all of you guys. So thank you to everybody in my Discord and on the comments that have came through over and over and over again and said, Sim, nope, nope, hey man, you're wrong, you're wrong, and I get it. Guys, sometimes I'm wrong, and I apologize, and I'm the first to say, hey, I made a mistake, and I'm sorry. It was a common misunderstanding. I'm not the guy that made the game, so I'm going off of what I believe had happened in order for me to unlock it. So, sorry that that happened. I hope that you guys aren't too upset about that. Moving on to the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the... Uh, the haze lab a lot of you guys are costing me on sim how do you get into the haze lab now the haze lab in order to open it as far as i have seen all you need to do is blow up the oak base after pressing the button after you activate all the lasers right you press the button it blows up the oak base you run over there and you pick up burgle after that the door should be open if that's not working for you you have a bug or you need to make sure that you're in the 10.0 public test server. If you're not in the test server right now, that's not going to open. It's not in the normal game yet. You have to wait until the 10.0 update comes out on June 30th in six days in order for you guys to have access to that base in the standard game. Right now, it's just not in there yet. It's still in testing. So if you guys are wondering, Sim, why can't my door open? Why can't I get in there? I see you're going in there and getting all this stuff and I want all these items. I get that. And I want the items too because they're awesome and it's really really cool to have all this stuff but you need to be in the public test server in order to actually uh, unlock it so go there talk to burgle first and then run over there and you should be able to get in there and on your way over there don't forget a gas mask I'd hate for you to die okay the next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is the uh, another question I got was do I or can I go get the Broodmother BLT recipe before the 10.0 update? And the answer to that question is no, you cannot. You need to wait for the 10.0 update to come out or be in public test in order to unlock anything that has to do with the Broodmother, okay? All right, another question I get, I've got tons of them here for you guys, is are there any more scabbies that got added to the game? Not that I have seen yet. I have scoured around inside of the haze base and around over here inside of the Broodmother's Lair. Those are the two areas that really got like adjusted and added into the game. And there are no new scabbies that I have seen yet. This does not mean that there will not be some that comes out on June 30th, because if there are some that come out on June 30th, awesome i cannot wait to find him i can't wait to see him i hope we get some sort of broodmother one that maybe looks like uh the broodmother's colors from the the bat or something like that or the mask i think that that would all be really really cool if we could get a, a scabby that's got like that kind of coloring on it i doubt it but um we we can hope like I said, because that would be a really dark scabby. But the last thing that I want to go over is the video I put out last night, which was talking about um, the perfect set in order to fight the Broodmother. Now, to me, that's my perfect set, right? Like I said, everybody's going to change. And a lot of you guys in the comments came out and gave some very, very, very valid points of Sim. Why not use the Koi armor? The Koi armor has really good blocking. And it allows you to perfect block easier. So if we go down and we look at the Koi armor, you are correct. It gives you the perfect block and the defense is okay. It's not as high as say the ladybug armor, but it's okay. Um, and a lot of people are saying, well, use the Koi armor, the shield and the trident because the trident's going to do a lot of damage and using the shield, it's going to up your blocking strength, thus making it so you could perfect block more and you'll be able to save. I get it. And that's an excellent 
excellent, excellent build in order to take out the Broodmother. And I give you guys the kudos for coming up with that. Everybody who's come up in the comments and said that. Um, sorry that I don't have your guys' names. There's been a lot of you. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, that what I told you guys was my best tips and tricks for being able to fight her, how I did it, how I would be able to do it. I'm not saying it's the only way to do it, but I'm saying in my book, it is the easiest way to fight her. Now in woe mode, would it work? Yes, I've tried it. It did work. Will it work the best for you? If you're not the best at perfect blocking, probably not. That's why you wear the Koi armor so you get that perfect blocking and then you get the Dazzling Repose to be able to hit a little bit harder on your, um, your swing back attack. So that is kind of the questions and Q&A that I've been getting from you guys lately. I cannot wait to do more of these uh, videos for you guys, answering your guys' questions, the most often asked questions that are down in the comments. If you guys could, leave me comments down below if you guys know of something that I may not or if I may have misjudged a situation while I was playing. Because like I said about the perk, that's a common mis misunderstanding on my part. I literally was fighting, getting poisoned, and killing. It, it happens, okay? So I made a mistake. I'm sorry again, guys. I hope you guys aren't too upset. Please make sure you guys hit the like button on this video. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, I'll see all of you guys in the next one.